And now a view of a walk in the clouds. I mean, a walk to remember. The place between the pines? Into the woods? What was this movie called again? A Walk in the Woods. That's the name of the movie. It's Robert Redford and Nick Nolte is a couple of old guys who try to walk the Appalachian Trail. What happens in their relationship, as well as on the journey, when they do so. Robert Redford continuing his movies where the old guy does amazing things. He started with All is Lost in the Shipwreck, and now, of course, he's trying to walk for days on end. But does it work? Well, I think it pieces it does. Uh, we'll call the best thing Nick Nolte. I thought Nolte's performance in this was really, really fun and good. There's something just really interesting about him. When he's on screen, his presence, the way he talks, the way he interacts, the way he moves. Uh, I was really captured by what he did here. And I think overall really makes the chemistry between him and Redford a really good thing. I enjoyed that as well. Some of the emotion here works as well. Uh, not as much as I think the movie would want, but there certainly are bits and pieces throughout where I was affected by the poignancy of what they were trying to say about these men and, and what their lives were going through and how this journey affected them. I do think it works here and there. There are some things about the movie that don't work, and one of those is Redford. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad performance. Redford's performance is actually okay. It's just not that believable. And I don't want to have to tread too lightly here, but he is getting old. And to see him walking this trail and doing some of these things just didn't strike me as something that was real. This is based on a true story, by the way. The author actually did hike the trail at 59, and people thought it was kind of crazy for him to try to do it then. Well, Redford is two decades older than that. The dude is pushing 80, and so it just took me out of it a little bit and distracted me from the overall thing. Plus, it's just a kind of movie. Everything is good, but it's kind of good. The acting is good, but it's kind of good. The score is good, but it's kind of good. So it's just a little bit above average kind of in every category. So you just walk away going, yeah, that was a pretty good movie. It's kind of one of those. Also, I wonder if seeing Wild with Reese Witherspoon recently has affected the way I view this because they're so similar in concept with going on a long hike and learning about yourself. The one with Reese Witherspoon, Wild is this dramatic and interesting and compelling tale. And this one just feels a little bit boring in comparison. And that's a tough thing to deal with, you know, having maybe the wild hangover uh, and seeing something like this. But I, does think, I do think it impacts kind of the way you see it. Overall, I thought A Walk in the Woods was a decent film, but not a great film. Probably lands for me right around a B minus. Thanks for checking out the review, and if you want to know more about what goes on here at Your Movie Friend, click the cards up in this corner. You can hover over there, you'll see a little I. You click it, and it'll slide right out even as uh, this review continues to go. And you can see the website at yourmoviefriend.com. You can see other reviews that I've done recently, as well as how to support the channel if you'd like to do that. Uh, I also encourage you to follow me on Periscope. After I come out of every movie, I do a quick Periscope interaction where I take questions and comments, and I love this because it gives me a chance to talk about the movie with someone right after I've seen it. So if you want to join in on that, I'd really appreciate it. Just find Aaron Dicer on Periscope. And of course, you can subscribe to the podcast Sift Pop, S-I-F-T-P-O-P, in iTunes or Stitcher or anywhere that you do podcasts. All right, let's do the best ever challenge. This is where you name the best movie ever in a particular category and also try to identify my choice. What is the best Nick Nolte movie ever? So I think I'll give a clue for mine. The clue being in mine, he was father to somebody who was an artist of the mixed martial variety. Take a guess at mine in the comments. Also leave your choice there. I'd love to chat about that with you. And as always, here's five extra seconds to hit subscribe right down in this corner. Just click the logo.